Hey, welcome back to Retail Remedy. My name is Giselle and I'm a reseller for eBay and Poshmark. Um, so today we have yet another haul. So actually this past, what, Monday, I had a really, really good trip to the bins where I found quite a few of my Bolo brands. Um, so this is about like half of that stuff and I do have some pictures that I'm gonna show you on my phone. Um, so yes, thank you all for stopping by again. And the movie section will be very brief today because it's just one. I actually picked this one up from the bins um, while I was alongside someone else who sold only movies. And um, since this is a show, I believe, or I believe it's a sh if I'm not, it might not be a show. The Duchess, I don't know. I thought it was a show. Anyways, I feel like this is going to be long enough for me to go ahead and do all my listings. So I'm trying to, I'm, I'm actually looking for the length of this movie. It, it might be a movie. Okay. <laughs> but generally these types of movies, you know, like, you know, uh, the England type movies, I love that type of stuff. And sometimes they can be pretty long and sufficient. So let's get started with the haul. All right. So we're going to start with whatever comes out of the bag first. Um, this first find that I'm going to show you, um, it's kind of one of those things that I was like, ah, uh, cause it, it's a really good find. Let me just go ahead and show you. So it is a pair of little like Chino style shorts by Magellan or Magellan or whatever. I did move my light so y'all can have more like light um i didn't want it to be as dark as my other videos so um that's why you're getting the glare but no i don't normally pick these up but obviously it's new with tags and i'm kind of a sucker for new with tags at the bins but the only thing about these is that their regular price is let's see if i can see this 14.99 so basically i'm probably going to list it for 14.99 but i do do free shipping so it'll be basically like paying for it at the store or whatever and not having to pay shipping. But I think they're a really nice pair of shorts. I didn't see that when I was at the bin, so I was like, uh, but you know, it is what it is. I'm okay with that. That's still a good sell for bins fine. That's probably cost under a dollar in the first place. And all right, so we can move on to the next one, which is also a new with tags item and um, a brand that I don't normally pick up, which is, uh, what's her name? Gloria Vanderbilt. Now I've heard people say that they like these, uh, this brand and you know, I see it a lot. So I kind of don't pick it up, but like I said, new with tags at the bins is one of the things that I'm always going to do. I've even sold a pair of candies, you know, from Kohl's from the, from the bins. So as long as it's new with tags, you know, I'm likely to pick it up. I have left a few things behind. But these are some slacks. They're like some navy blue slacks. And um, they're straight leg. And as you can see, there's the, the sticker is still behind them. Wow, that glare sucks. <laughs> I wish I could show you all. But yeah, the sticker is there. It's, it says Lux Sateen. Um, so there's some classic slacks. I think they're very useful. So somebody will definitely cop these, I believe. So yeah. Um, yeah, I probably will only pick up new with tags ones with this. And the next one, now this one is a bolo. So I'm really happy about this. I found a few of these. And every time I find them, I get really excited. Like the first one, that, the first ones that I found were some red shorts, some red Bermudas. But this is um, cut from cloth. And they're just some really nice skinny jeans in like a gray color. These are pre-owned. Um, like I, I did check them out, so they're not like new without tags or whatever. They are pre-owned, pre -owned, but even that pair of shorts that I uh, sold did sell for like $20. So that's pretty good for a pair of shorts. And they look pretty good and they're a size 10. So I'm, I'm glad about that too, because um, I do find quite a bit of smalls and you know, small sizes as I told you guys before. All right, so the next one that I found, I literally picked up because I feel like um, it's really cute. And I pick up very little of this, but I do pick it up because it does sell when it wants to. Uh, this is actually by American Eagle. Y'all know what American Eagle looks like, so don't mind the glare. But it's a corduroy little overall dress, which I thought was super cute. 
and you know it can be worn whether it's summer or fall like you can put this on with a nice long sleeve shirt if you want or you know in the summertime you could wear it with a nice little bandeau or whatever you want to do with it so I just felt like it was very cute with the little exposed zipper and everything like that this one is an extra small so um you know I still pick up for the extra small girls I just you know like getting all the sizes so yeah that one will probably be listed between 15 and 18 dollars this next brand I do like to pick up because I know that well first of all I've been to REI so that's what this one is REI and I know that this brand basically sells for quite a bit in the store so I usually have pretty good luck with REI I've sold actually I sold one other thing but it was just the top you know and I would call this one more of a bread and butter rather than a bolo because the top that I sold was like a tank but it sold for like 15 bucks which is good for a tank um and these are some pants or whatever and they're kind of cargo and they have like the extra pockets here and of course the pockets on the back have buttons and at the bottom they actually have the drawstring you know so if you're wearing boots and stuff you can like trek or hike through the the outdoors and not have to worry about anything getting up your boot <laughs> or up your pants so very useful so i find that to be like pretty good to um purchase things that are quote unquote like a useful uh pair of clothes i'm saying useful but honestly like all clothes are useful to me but you know what i mean like it has that extra like outdoorsy like people need this so all right the next one is another bread and butter brand i would say and i've sold a few things from this brand which is soft surrounding um i'm trying to get it out of the way of the light so soft surroundings um, and these are just a pair of jeans um, they're actually extra large which is really nice but they're skinnies and have the elastic waist which is also very um, good but they're basically just a basic pair of jeans I'm not sure exactly what I'm gonna sell them for because the things that I've sold have been tops and I think I sold a shawl by soft surroundings and they do pretty well but I've never sold jeans by soft surroundings so we have to do some research on that all right and these this next item is actually one that i found multiples of so i've never sold this brand so it's new to me but they were new with tags and like i said i was at the bins new with tags is something that i just can't pass up sometimes so and then they also have a pretty good sale price so these are mollusk california so let me show y'all that because it it doesn't show very well on um on the tag and they normally sell for $68 so um, I'm gonna see what online looks like as far as the previous sales but there are just a pair of uh, swim chunks for men I do have two of these in this style and then I have one other style that I'm gonna show you but they were all new with tags so I'm like of course of course I'm gonna pick them up um, all right and this one oh my gosh I'm so freaking excited about this because this is my first time and this one is a bolo and a bolo that I've been looking for for a long time and looking for like a good one too because sometimes I've heard that you know this one is very particular but this is Lily Pulitzer let me see if I can show y'all that if you so it's a little hard to see but you can tell by the style very Lily right and then the back is so cute with the little um ruffle in the back and the gold buttons now i don't know exactly what i'm going to list it for but i know that this is a bolo so when i seen it i was like ah! i almost screamed in the bins but i try to keep everything real kosher you know i don't want anybody looking at my basket and trying to scheme and scam girl so um it's just really cute and it's a size extra large so yes girl and and we're getting into these months where this is gonna be very necessary for somebody out there so there you go now this one is this brand I pick up from time to time I try not to pick up everything even though I've discovered that Lauren Ralph Lauren has some really cute pieces so this is a older piece I believe by Miss Lauren um, but it was the style of it for me that made me go ahead and pick it up. So it's a really cute midi length skirt with these really pretty ruffles and it has a really nice um, pattern to it, like very classic Ralph Lauren, right? Um, the reason why I say it's like an older piece though is because um, 
it definitely shows signs of aging. It does have a few like uh, thread snags and there were some snags throughout, but not ones that caused holes, just like a, like a thread sticking out or whatever. And I did some cutting of those loose threads, but at least it doesn't have any holes. So I'm not sure exactly the price I'm going to put on it, but isn't that so cute? Like I, I did not want to leave that at the bins. I was like, this is too cute. You know what I mean? So that's that. Now this item, um, this is a new brand to me. Um, this one is called Allen White's Wise. Right, so I wanna say that I have something else by Alan Weiss, but it's actually in my little repair shop because I have a whole like pile of things that need to be like washed or like stain removed and th these types of things that I have one other thing. Um, I think that one needs a button or something. Uh, but so it'll be my first time actually listing this, but this is a long linen skirt. You know, it's kind of ha it kind of has a funky vibe to it, but it had pretty good comps when I looked up the last thing. So I said, let me just go ahead and pick it up again. And at least I'll get to list this one and see how it does. So it'll be like pretty new to me. Um, it's actually really cute though. It does have like a cute little like flower button in the back with a little, um, it's kind of like a hidden zipper, but not really because it does hang out, but it's kind of cute, you know, linen. Y'all know I like, I love to pick up linen. So <laughs> that is what kind of got me actually the other thing is linen as well so we'll see once i get that that one all worked on and whatnot okay and this one is also i now i used to call it a bolo but it's more of a bread and butter brand i'm starting to see because i have a few pieces that i haven't been able to move as quickly i want to say i sold like two pieces in this brand but this is actually prana so um, I have a few pieces or whatever, and I'm waiting on those to kind of move. I think they have quite a bit of popularity though. Um, but this is a nice little cute, um, I say knee length skirt, and it actually is like 30% wool or something. So it's really nice actually. So um, I'm hoping this one will do well. You know, I am sitting on them for a little bit, but I'm, I'm not going to judge it quite yet because it hasn't been really, really too long, just a few weeks or whatever. So we'll see. I might have to adjust some prices and stuff. So this is that other pair of swim trunks I told you about earlier. So we have that one. We have, so we have two of those. And then here is the other one, the other style. Um... So this is the other style. They're like all gray. And then in the back, they have this nice little pocket. So yeah, we're gonna see how that does. So that was all for the clothing section. And now I'm gonna show you all the uh, hard goods and shoes. All right, so these are our first, you know, pictures <laughs> that I wanna show you from the haul. And this is actually two like table topper books uh, by Lauren Conrad and they are just really cute one of them is on style and one of them is on beauty so the one on style I believe has like hairstyles and things like that for you to um, do and I think beauty has like fitness and different things I did take a picture of the table of contents um, of each book so that whoever gets them um, they can enjoy you know they'll know what they're getting so the books i'm going to sell as a set of two um i believe like on the back of the books they do have the prices so one of them was like 19 dollars, and one of them was like 21 dollars. i'm probably gonna sell them uh for like 24 20 or 26 i think in my mind i said 26 just in case that there are some offers you know that come through the next one is also like a table topper book but it's vintage so it's called Teen Guide to Homemaking. It's actually from the 60s. So it's really cute. They have pictures and everything. The pictures on the inside of the book are black and white, but it's a totally cool like book. And it actually came from the LA City High School. So it was like a library book. Um, and it's just a really cool vintage book. I've sold so many vintage books and that's actually something I like to pick up, but I don't often get to because sometimes I'm like a little weary about exactly what I want to price them at and stuff and so I can get very in my head about it but yeah it's a pretty cool little book and here's the back with that little nice little vintage print 
I just think it would be cute on it like a tabletop. Oh, and the next thing now, this I haven't even done any research on. I just totally liked it when I seen it. So there's some really cute martini glasses. I found only three of them, but I think they do the job sufficiently. And they're by a brand called Elements. So hopefully that's not Walmart, but if it is, you know, hey, it's cool. I'm still gonna try to sell them because I think they're super cute. Um, and I actually was so scared as I was moving them, like I did not want to accidentally like drop them because it is kind of a delicate glass. So yeah, I'm gonna be really careful for whoever purchases these on how to how I'm gonna pack them. So and here's the pink one. So isn't that so cute? All right, so the next one is a real bolo, okay? So I was really excited about this and I was really surprised that <laughs> that this even got left for me because this was actually, um, so like I said, we they do lines of bins, right? Like one whole line. And I had gone through the whole bin and I came around and it was in one of the last carts. And I'm like, so somebody left me this? This is actually a um, bag by Marc Jacobs. So I've sold a few things by Marc Jacobs. I've sold a wallet. I've sold um, some jeans. Uh, I've sold, actually this, week I brought a jean jacket by Marc Jacobs to um, the mail and I sold it on Poshmark. Now this is like the most unique thing I've sold or, or I'm going to sell. See, I'm already ready for the sale. <laughs> but it's the most unique because it's a bright orange like bag and it is beautiful. It says Marc Jacobs right on the outside. So I'm like, I'm so surprised that like somebody left this for me. Like it's so cute. And this is the inside of the bag and that's classic Marc Jacobs. So it looks brand new, like on the inside. Now there is one little scuff there. So that's the only thing that's wrong with it. If anything, I mean, you might be able to get that out. So yeah, I'm excited about that. Like, you know. So this next thing is actually a new brand to me and it's called Mateen. And it's a like a travel laptop slash tech backpack. So it has, so this is, it's pretty small and compact, yet it has a lot of pockets. So actually, let me show you the side, the side view. So there's like three openings. The back one has the um, locking zips. So you can actually put a lock on those zippers um, on that back one. But, um, and that's the part that holds the laptop. So there you have that. And then it, I believe that's like a portable charger thing. I have to look it up exactly, but it even has that part. And, you know, I think something to hold your keys right there in the front. Um, it's a really cool backpack and um, I believe it has really good comps. Mine is a little bit worn. Uh, so, you know, I'm gonna definitely take care to like, you know, put that in the description and stuff. Um, but for the most part, it looks pretty good. So we're gonna take a little story break. It's not gonna be that long of a story, okay? But okay, this is one of the things that I I win at because I'm very patient when I go to the bins. Um, first, let me show you. So this is a pair of Tiffany and Co glasses. I know it's just glasses, but I'm telling you, it just I don't confirmed for me that I'm doing the correct thing by being kind of patient. It was inside of a glasses case that wasn't like a big brand or anything like that. It was just inside of a glasses case. When I go to the bins, I open everything. Like I open everything. If I see a box that hasn't been opened, I open it. So I opened that glasses case and I seen that Tiffany and Co. And I was like, <gasps> and I literally put it inside of that backpack I just showed you all. So that's the, let me see if I can show that. That is the uh, inside of the glasses, that classic Tiffany blue um, and things like that. So I think that I'm probably going to list it like around like maybe $115 or $100 because I did look up the comps. And while there are some companies selling it for $300, there are also some listings out there for like $125, $122. Um, and mine, of course, are pre-owned and it's just for the frames unless you can like see what this lady, whoever this person's um, prescription was. But there are some cute glasses. And then on the edges there, of course, you can see the little Tiffany hearts and stuff like that. So I was super excited. Um, <laughs> so yeah, that was another one of those surprising like finds where I was like, I could probably leave after this, but 
not really so i didn't but yes um all right and so the next item is actually something that i don't normally pick up i see it all the time and i don't pick it up but this one was really cute and it looked brand new so i was like i'm i'm getting this so this is a bag by vera bradley i'm sure all of the vera bradley fans they knew it as soon as i turned the phone around because it's very classic vera um but it is so cute it has this like um sweetheart i'm gonna call it sweetheart shape because you know like sweetheart tops are like the little heart at the top so it it's shaped like that and it's just really cute and I was like yeah somebody will want that so I went ahead and picked her up um I don't know what I'm gonna list it for yet because I've never listed Vera Bradley but I know that there's a lot of people who love Vera Bradley and this is the inside there so it's it's basically brand new I probably will list it as new without tags or like new but I like to put new without tags especially when I know it like there's not a stain on it like at all so all right the next thing has no brand but it is so cute that it looks like it comes from Urban Outfitters this is one of those hanging lamp things and I mean this one looks really new too except I guess except for the cord but it's super cute and I feel like you know people want little decorative stuff to put in their room and stuff and I did take a picture of it with the light on so people know that it works already so yeah and it has a little switch a little hand switch and I just think that would be cute I don't know exactly what I'm gonna sell it for because honestly it doesn't have a brand <laughs> but I feel like that one is gonna be a good seller this next one is a brand that I thought I had sworn off of but yeah these are just some cute shoes so i was like i'm gonna pick them up but i stopped really uh wanting to sell these this brand because people would just lowball and lowball and lowball it would be so hard to get rid of them because mostly all i would get is lowball offers so these are actually some lace up i, I don't know what to call these i want to say mary jane's but that's not a mary jane they're just some cute lace up like heeled shoes i don't know what to call those or what the style is called maybe somebody can leave it in the comments but aren't they just so cute and they look almost new they look almost new because they don't have much like issues with them at all like from what i can see there's like some light scuffing and the leather is a little bit it looks a little wilted i guess but for the most part that gives it character like those they look very um vintage style and um almost new that's my best <laughs> so i'll put like new or something like that or um excellent condition you know that type of thing but yeah i didn't want to leave those behind because they were just i just thought they were cute Ooh, and this is that that leather thing that i was telling you about i believe i did mention this but there was a leather skirt that i had got and i hadn't got a chance to take pictures of it but i finally did it and this is actually by Vera Pele, which I have sold a Vera Pele uh, purse before. And some of them can go for quite a bit. But this is a very unique piece. And it's all leather and it's a wrap skirt. So where you see that little buckle, it actually comes all the way off. The whole skirt opens up. And it's a size 44. I probably need to do some the measuring of the length of the skirt, like the complete Length, I like as far as I should say width of the skirt the entire way when it's open I did do how long it is like as far as when you wear it but I probably need to do a complete measuring of that but the uh, buckle does have a little bit of wear to it but it is so unique that um, you know I think it'll do well and here's the back of the skirt so and the leather is a little worn too so uh, this is actually called rain leather so I'm not sure what kind of like if that is special leather or something, but yeah. Um, but that was the last item. So because I just scrolled and it was the shorts that I showed you already. So this was almost kind of a long haul. I was trying to, you know, quickly get through it. But yeah, those are all the things that I am actually getting ready to list right now while watching my little movie. And I hope you all learned something or got some bolos from it. And I hope to see you all in the next one.